It's this Richard Thorne with VS News for this Monday, the 28th of November, 2011, and away we go. Dateline, Black Eye. This year's Black Friday shopping extravaganza saw the strongest sales ever. Consumers spent $11.4 billion on retail items, plus another $3 billion on medical care for injuries sustained in the stampedes. <laughs> Violence marred Black Friday events around the country. Shootings were reported in the parking lots of several Walmart stores. Though, you would think if there's going to be a shooting, it would be at Target. Just saying. A shopper in California uh, trying to grab a video game console attacked fellow shoppers with pepper spray. Authorities say the woman could be charged with aggravated assault or offered a job as a campus cop at UC Davis. Over at Fox, <laughs> Megan Kelly exhorted the pepper sprayer to use a different kind of food item for better results, like a case of creamy jiff. Oh! All in all, this shopping season, people are displaying a startling amount of selfishness, greed, and stupidity, leading economists to hope that we may finally be getting back to normal. In other news, Dateline, Newt Hampshire. <laughs> This weekend, the New Hampshire Union Leader newspaper endorsed Newt Gingrich for the GOP nomination. It wasn't a ringing endorsement, but then, when Newt Gingrich is your choice, the only thing that should be ringing is alarm bells. Take us to DEFCON 1. And finally, Dateline Neanderthug. Scientists have discovered some of the earliest evidence of violence between human beings. A 126,000-year-old skull found in China shows a fracture, almost certainly caused by a blow to the head. It's also some of the oldest evidence that early man also spent his day after Thanksgiving at Walmart. Happy Cyber Monday! <laughs> Do not refresh this page! Richard on Night BS News! Have a great week! Cyber Monday! Well, I don't even have to be in a store with you. I like it. It's my thing. Yes, it's my thing. And then uh, the cute UPS guy will come and drop stuff off at my house. I think it's a plan. I'm sticking to it. Uh, you know, and you know, it's really interesting. My mother always says, you know, like she came over to the house and I've been redoing my bedroom and all this stuff. And she goes, so where did you get this? I said, online. Online? And when you give her a gift, did you go to the store? No, I got it online. Online. Like there's something less you know, about getting a gift online than there is going into the store. And now I get it risking your life for the waffle maker. No, mom, I didn't risk my life for the $2 waffle maker. I ordered it online and they brought it to me so I wouldn't have to risk my life. For well, it's not the same. I get it. It's not the uh, thought that counts. It is the gift and it's whether or not you risked your life. That's what it is. 